Are you having some pulled pork? Oh no, oh, you're going straight for the brisket. No, no, Thank no. you. Uh, Alana, I think that brisket's a bit too... <laughs> thumbs up for Texas, I tell you, thumbs up. We've recently come back from the US where we had a southern barbecue for the very, very first time. We loved it so much that today we are trying Texas pit barbecue. In the UK. Let's get hungry. <laughs> of something barbecue related at home in the UK. And we've just been told that the chefs actually travel out to Texas a couple of times a year to get some more tips and advice to improve their cooking skills, which is really, really good to know. And they also go to the other states as well to find information about things like some of their hot sauces that they've got on the table, some of the barbecue sauces and some of the rubs that they use. So I think that's really good and we're hoping that it's going to be authentic as it can be. So what are we ordering today? Food! <laughs> we asked some of our patrons and we also asked some of you lovely subscribers for some recommendations of what we should try today. And we're going to go for brisket, St. Louis rib, Texan style, jalapeno cheese sausage, pulled pork. We're going to get some sides to go with it, so we're going to have to go with the mac and cheese because you love mac I and love cheese. I love mac and cheese. Pit beans. And we're also going to try something we've never had before, which is chicken crackling. And for drinks, I'm going to have to go for the root beer. You can also get it as a float here as well. Oh, I almost forgot. We're going to get Alana a child's portion of pulled pork as well. Food. Hello. Now, when you're outside of this place, you notice the smell of the smoke. It hits you, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It makes you even hungrier. Thank what? you very much. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I've not seen this. Soda folk root beer. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen this root beer before. I'm really looking forward to this. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. Thank you. You're very welcome. You like colouring, don't you? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. I've got to say, so far, with regards to service, spot yeah. on, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, really spot good. On. Not like Taco Bell. <laughs> no, not like Taco Bell. <laughs> this is our first time having a British Taco Bell. So. I haven't got it yet. Oh. Oh. I've just spied a couple of the seasonings. We've got Louisiana hot sauce. If you've tried this, let us know in the comments below. Next up, we do have like a traditional barbecue sauce, sweet and... Smoky. Smoky, this is exactly what we want. And we've got this seasoning. I'm not quite sure. Oh, Might wow. be the secret rub. Oh, that smells quite nice. There's a lot going on with that. Brilliant. That color right here. I Thank, you. Show you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Can I just ask you a question? Yeah. In this one, do you know what's in this? White pepper is basically for fries. Okay. We, we mix it here. It's not like something we just buy. Mm -hmm. We've got a different style. We just mix it. Alana, are you doing coloring or are you doing cheers with daddy? Ah. That root beer is quite nice, actually. It smelled like A&W, but it doesn't taste like it. Cheers. Nice and smooth. In our previous video, when we went to Florida and tried the Southern barbecue for the very, very first time, we were told not to use a knife and fork. So we are going to be using our hands today, so they're going to get very messy. So far, the service has been really good. JP has been excellent, hasn't really, he? Yeah. Excellent. Very knowledgeable as well. So this is a Memphis rub, but predominantly put on fries. So here we go. Here we go. Dinner's coming. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. Right. Blimey. Ready here? Yeah. We are, yeah, we I are. think so. And they're going to put too close to her, all right? Yeah, that's, that's okay. fine. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, so let me just put that on this side. Oh, oh, oh. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, look, I mean, that's your plate. Gonna Thank you, sir. Right? Yeah, we're not going to complain. No, no, no. <laughs> wow. So, my country is really careful that it's on the barbecue, yep. so it's going to be hot. Yep. yep. Same thing happened with the bowl. Yep. It's been on the barbecue, so it's going to be hot. Chicken crackling, that oh. one is the dip with. Some fries, that one for her. Yeah, yep. burger. Pork. Then we have a pork pork here. Cheese sausage with a jalapeno, which we make here. Lovely. Um, oh, it's great ingredients, and you make the sausage yeah, here? Yeah, we do it here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Brisket, as you can see here. Yep. And then, <laughs> That they don't need any of the food yeah. coming like right. Yeah. <laughs> I know why you said it yeah, was big. Like, if it's for two, you need to be hungry. Yeah. I know it's like for three people, it's perfect size. We'll give it a good go. Yeah, I, my mouth is watering. I know, it I don't smells know about yours. brilliant. It, it smells fresh, amazing. Enjoy, right? Thank you, yeah, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Wow, where do we start? I'm going to break up some of Alana's dinner. So she's got like a pulled pork slider over here and she's got some fries. But just to echo it, this mac and cheese is, is spicy. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Someone's gone straight in for her pulled pork over here. I've not even managed to put the bib on her. I think she's mesmerized by this. 
Should we go chicken crackling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken crackling. Oh, definitely, hands. You're going to dip it? Yeah. So we've got some dip here. It looks like it's got pickles and chilies in there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't actually taste like I was expecting chicken crackling to taste like. All I've ever had was chicken skin. That's lovely. It's got a nice salt to it as well. Yeah. If you would put this in front of me and said that was pork crackling, I would have believed you. Mm -hmm. mm. Mac and cheese. We're sharing a fork. That's really nice. The cheese cuts through quite nicely. Tastes a bit of the bacon. It tastes Ooh. a nice little after kick as well. That's it's good. not like a synthetic -y cheese because sometimes you get bad like tasting cheeses with the aftertaste. But onion's lovely. That That spice kicks mm. through lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, Very it's creamy. Lovely. What do we need now? Brisket? Let's go brisket. So we know beef is king in Texas. I'm gonna pick up this brisket. Oh. <gasps> Look at that smoke ring. You can see it's juicy. Got a bit of a bark. I was expecting the bark to be a little bit crispier. Actually, it is underneath. Shall I just do a little... Did it fall apart? Yeah. Oh, there's yours. <laughs> hey, you right. How are we going so far? Just starting. Yeah, we're just, just starting, start, yeah, but enjoy them. Good. I'm going to give you another one. Ask it to the oh. guys. That's going to be on me, OK? So oh, OK. That one, as you can see, is going to be more like a, a bit of fat in the middle. Mm -hmm. because some people look like with a bit of fat. Oh, OK. Not, so you can just try both. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Thank you lovely. very much. That's um, brilliant. I don't know if she looks a little bit close to her because no. she looks like really hungry. <laughs> She's been tucking in. Yeah. She went, yeah, she went straight okay, for it. Look at this. Mm. Oh. Oh. Say thank you. Yeah, thank you. Look, Thank look. you. Alana, I think that brisket's a bit too... <laughs> <laughs> None of us are getting this, though. No. But Mama have it, yeah? I'll put it there, yeah? yeah. <laughs> right, let's go for this. You can actually break through the fat mm. on it as well, which sometimes fat can be a bit tough. tough. Oh. That melts. I've got to say, I'm actually enjoying the brisket better in the UK than I did when in we Florida. were in Florida. That is really good. Mm. That. It's, it just melts, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting it to melt like that. And we've actually been given another piece free of charge on the house. Because this bit's got more of the fat in the middle. He said some people like the different ends of the brisket, depending on where the meat is, the marbling, etc. So we're going to try this bit. Oh, this has got really good smoke rings. I sound like a professional. Alana's already picked this one up and tried a bit. <coughs> but I'm going to just... Oh. Wow, that, that really does. Oh. That just literally just falls right apart. That bit is good. Yeah. Really good. It, literally, for beef, mm. it just melts. It is really juicy. You can taste all those meaty flavours in like the juice, can't you? You don't need gravy or anything with this. What? I know. I'm not sure if I could taste the rub though. I have to say, this is what we would say over here, a different kettle of fish. Mm. This is something else. This is, I mean, it is so juicy. And that fat in the middle, I mean, I enjoyed it in Florida, but this, I've never known that's Bloody good. That is really good. I could taste a bit of smoke in this as well. So I'm eating all of this brisket, but this second piece. I thought the first piece was good, but this is even better. You mean the second piece that you're eating all of, yeah. not Sharon? <laughs> no, go on, you eat that bit, I'll break a bit off. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh. That just falls apart. That is good. I'm going to be honest, and I'm sorry, but in Florida, I was a little bit underwhelmed by the brisket. After so many of you had told us how good brisket was, this, I could eat this all day on yeah. a thing. I've not known a meat to be so tender and literally just, it falls apart in your mouth. It literally just falls apart. You don't even need to chew it. It's literally melting. I don't even know what the tastes are I'm getting through this. I can taste something sweet in it. I'll try the original bit. That's good. I prefer the thinner piece that was served to us with the fat in the middle, yeah. the marbling. Oh, it just made that so good. And we've got this massive <laughs> ribs. Shall we try one of those next? Look at that, look. Look at that, and I'm definitely wow. taking some of that. Falls off the bone. That really does fall, oh. Oh.
going for the ribs now. That literally pours off of the bone. I have never tasted ribs like that. I have to say, the UK is holding it around like they aren't they? Really they are. are. For me, at Rock and John's, the, the ribs were the best part. They were, but this is a contender. The rub is amazing. The sauce is a bit tangy, but like tomatoey and sweet and just, oh, like you would say, deluxe. Really good. I know you're meant to get in there and put your teeth in, but oh. I can pull this off and it's lovely. That melts as well. Yeah. I'm not actually sure we're going to get through all this food, so luckily we can take some away with us. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try some of the pit beans. Mm. So these pit beans, are not just baked beans, so us British obviously don't just make baked beans. Oh, I can smell the smoke. Yes, we've got in here kidney beans. I don't even know what other beans, but someone's after all this food. Do you want to try a bit of brisket? I'm going to try these pit beans. They smell amazing. Absolutely incredible. Oh, they're nice. They're sweet, smoky. As it says on the menu, this is what I'm guessing would be more like a Texas proper barbecue, because this is something else. Beautiful. This is really good. And you know from previous videos, like the Taco Bell, if it's bad, we will say it's bad. Oh, I'm really disappointed. It just, everything tastes the same. Oily. So instead of crunch, you get chew. Oh. It's still boring as hell. Service has been great. The meat is amazing. I don't even need to eat anything else to know mm. what my rating is for this already, but we're going to give it a rating at the end. Mm. Pulled pork? Oh, absolutely. I'm just going to pick some up with my hands. Don't forget to check out our other social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Where will be you taking pictures of this and a bit more behind the scenes, so go check that out. We've still got so much more to get through, so do not click off yet. Can I do something? Yeah. Because we're husband and wife, I feel like this is going to be allowed. Oh, like Lady in the Tram. Well, I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to feed it to you. Have you had some of this? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's good. Very smoky. I could taste the smoke in that. Really smoky, but really good. Yeah. I can see why Alan have dived in for that straight away. You took the words out of my mouth. The smoke comes through so well, doesn't it? It's like, I know it comes with sauce, but... That's a smoky Kevin. It doesn't yeah. need any. Well, it doesn't need any sauce. So, moving on, these are beans, yeah? Mm. So this is normal like baked beans and kidney beans? Yep. With like beans. a smoky sauce? I think it's got some onion in it, a bit of bacon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm not really a massive kidney bean fan, but, but that is good. Well, I like beans, any kind of beans, and pit beans, my new favourite. I think Alana would like some pit beans, actually. Mm. Look at these ribs, look. Oh, it's good. I can't pick it all up because it's just going to fall apart, but look at that. i got to get some more ribs. The, these, I am shocked at how good these are. It's all really good. One thing we haven't tried yet, which is the jalapeno cheese sausage, which is actually made in-house. They make it here, which is quite impressive, isn't it? Thumbs up for Texas, I tell you. Thumbs up. If this is authentic Texas barbecue, or if Texas barbecue is, in fact, better, I'm yeah. in Texas tomorrow. I'm booking mm. a flight on there. I'm eating Texas. It's not often I'm lost for words, but I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this good. Do you know what? I was worried it wasn't going to be good. I thought it's probably not going to be as good as we think it's going to be, considering we've had a bit of barbecue in the States. It's probably going to be like the UK Taco Bell and rubbish, but yeah, I am one over. Yeah, I just can't get over how it just melts. Can we come back here on a date? Yeah. Oh. Lovely, warm, sticky, smooth, melts in your mouth. So juicy. It's all so good. Should we try the sausage? Mm. Oh, that smells spicy. It looks good. It's very juicy. It doesn't actually look oily. Like, no, it doesn't. I don't know if you can see, but let's try it. Oh. Yeah. It's juicy all the way through, all the way through. Not fatty. Not fatty. Good what they would say in the barbecue world. Good meat to fat ratio. You can tell I've been watching American Barbecue Showdown. You can taste the cheese and the jalapeno. This is more like kielbasa to me. Polish kielbasa, like Polish sausage. Just the texture is more meaty. Spitfire barbecue. Bloody hell. Any Americans watching that's going to visit Bristol or any Brits watching that would like to try this, please, please. I'll put the links in the comments below. Go check them out. This food. I'm sorry, Florida, but this is better. UK wins! UK, Texas. You can tell it's obviously paid off and going back to Texas once or twice a year to get more tips. I'm even eating the fat on the brisket, just picking the fat off and eating the fat on its own. It is that good. So, I, marks out of 10. I don't think you even need to ask. I want to try and pick holes, but I can't. No. Faultless, excellent.
excellent. One thing that we didn't point out is apparently it's quite authentic in Texas to have onions and pickles and slaw served with your barbecue. So we've even got that here. Actually, if I'm going to put one thing, we didn't order them. They came with a Lana's meal. I'm not sure if the fries, I haven't tasted a fry. I'm not sure if the fries are going to be as good as other places, but why would you have fries when you've got everything else here? You don't want carbs. Oh, should I take it back? <laughs> <laughs> they taste nice, especially with that Memphis seasoning. So yeah, I've got no faults. Haven't thought anything so far. Really enjoying what we're having. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. They're almost like potato skins, but without the skin. I'm so excited that this place is actually in Bristol and we're going to get to come here a lot more mm -hmm. often. We're going to try chocolate brownie shake. Do you want some more? Nice. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Look at all that cream. Chocolate drizzle. Amazing. If you like this kind of content, let us know by liking this video. We have got an absolute feast to get through, so all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you on the next video. She did it. <laughs>